Let's see how you wear using these tips and tools that I've given you with a different kind of question when I just let you have a go. Okay. I want to read carefully. So I'm going to look at the question and it says, <laughs> the great gals, who makes up these names? Uh, the great gals are having a sale on microwave ovens. The sale price of each oven is listed below along with the discount. Now that's actually really weird. You read that carefully. It says the sale price is listed. I don't know about you. I mean, usually you see, you know, oh, this is the amount. And then you work out the discount and you sort of have to do in your head, oh, it's 30% off this. So then you have to take that off. They've already taken it off. Okay. So when it says save $20, it doesn't take $20 off whatever is there, the marked price. They've already removed it. Okay. So the first thing I'm writing is sale price. So that I don't blindly just think, oh, what is that $149? What's it about? I know exactly what it's about. The question tells me. A second number, of course, they have the discount. And I'm just doing the first microwave first, okay? Part A says calculate the original price. Original price. So that's kind of nice. The question will often tell you the language you need to use, right? So I'll write that. Original price. Someone want to give me an answer? Yeah, Jamie. Uh, you just have to uh, add both of them. Yeah, fantastic. I'm doing 149. Uh, Plus 20, and that's, yeah, that's simple enough for us to do in our heads, isn't it? 169, there's your original price. When you go to part B, read it again carefully, because there's lots of parts to it that you need to dissect. Calculate to one decimal place the percentage discount on each oven. Give me a suggestion, what should I write before I start any numbers? Any takers? Yeah, Nathan. The original price. Oh. What am I going to write? Price. What am I doing? Yeah, to put the discount. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to, because I used the word discount there, I'm going to go percentage discount, because that's actually what I want to calculate, yeah? Okay, Brandon, want to give me a suggestion? What should I go to? Okay, then what you do is you minus um, the, the discount. Well, um, yeah. Um, because it already has the discount. Yep. Added, so they want to do it. Okay, now, I clearly need to bring these numbers together in some particular order, right? The discount is here. There's the discount. But to get a percentage discount, I'm going to be dividing by... Now, which one? The sale price or the original price? What do you reckon? Yeah, the original price. It's going to be the original price, right? Because you've already taken it off here. So therefore, I'm dividing by 169. In fact, that's kind of why part A says work out the original price for them. Okay. Calculator work now. Calculator. This is going to give you a decimal. Okay, now I'm getting 0.1183. What does that check out? Is that, is that what you get? Okay, now, hold on, hold on. This is just what the calculator has told me. Does that make sense so far though? Now, how do I go to a percentage? I multiply by 100, right? So that's 11 point blah 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 percent. Does that make sense? Please note by the way, like from this line to this line, the number changes because percent gets added on. So don't just say that, because 0.11 is not equal to 11. It's equal to 11 percent, okay? Now, what kind of approximation are they asking me for? Uh, I want it to do one decimal place. So there's the first decimal place. I look at the next one, does that go up or down? Uh, it goes, it's a three, right? It goes down, yeah? So this is approximately equal to 11.8%. One decimal place.